Hallelujah, there is no night there. Yeah. So what about no one you need to know what about now is tag someone, invite someone to listen to this live. Join nearer, we are joined nearer, we are joined nearer to the ten point one magnitude quick at the eight point five. Can you feel it? We are joined nearer. So we are just days away. So announcing now the catch it away. Only those holy and righteous and set apart will escape this judgment. Wake up and look at my going early this morning. And when I look out, it was a sense of day standing. Say, brother man, look out, you know, see me vote for me, dread us already. When I vote for you, then tell me who vote for me, baby, blah. No night in a Zion, there is no night there. Hallelujah, there is no night there. Ja, Rastafari, right, this is our light, and we don't need no other light. Hallelujah, there is no night there. Come on, let me sing up the music. No night in a Zion, there is no night there. Hallelujah, there is no night there. Oh yeah guys, we are live. Remember, remember, right about now, get ready. Get ready, everyone who uh outside the ark, get ready for what's going to happen to the earth within the next uh within the next twenty four hours. All right, get ready for a mega get ready for a mega earthquake to occur. All right, so get ready for the mega earthquakes to begin because we're coming to the end of the we coming to the end of the major and the minor uh shiftings of the tectonic plate we're coming to the end of that so by the 5th of um march we should uh be already full pace in the uh into the other phase uh into the pole reversal shifting of all the tectonic plates and all those sort of things which i've already discussed to you No night in a Zion, there is no night there. Night in a Zion, there is no night there. Hallelujah, there is no night there. Rastafari is our light, and we don't need no other light. Hallelujah, there is no night there. But the Babylon is full of bad ways and bad decisions. 
Right, let's begin to share this live. Never yet to ever make any good decision. And the people out in the street, they suffer by death. Hear what I'm saying? No night in a Zion, there is no night there. Hallelujah, there is no night there. King, rest of our right is our life. And we don't need no other night. Hallelujah, there is no night there. ready to go out to carnival today's fantastic friday in trinidad well you know what's going to happen within the next 24 hours i hope that you all have your cock stiff so to speak i hope that you all are ready all right i hope that you all are ready for what is going to happen within the next 24 hours i hope that you are ready for what is about to come forth in the next 24 hours all right Shalom to all my brothers and sisters, all those that are alive with me. Shalom to you. Yes, I'm too, brother Kareem. Come to all commanders on this life. We are coming to the end of this journey. So we are hours right now. We, we are counting down hours. We are counting down hours. We are counting down minutes. We will soon count down seconds. So right now we are counting down hours. Very soon we will count down the minutes. And then we will count down the seconds. And after the seconds, that is when everything will unfold. So as we go forth in this life, all right, you hear me talk about certain time and you hear me talk about uh, certain things that is going to happen, certain things that is due to occur. All right. We come into the end of this journey as of right now. So what's going to happen here, uh, I have a prophecy here, again to read out, okay, a prophecy from uh, 2018, okay, that I will be uh, replaying, alright, I will, uh, the, 
the narrator, all right, will read out the prophecy for you because it's very long. I, I have it on a, on a slow pace so that you all could understand exactly what's happening from 2017 uh, into to 2019 and beyond. You will understand that everything that I speak will come to pass according to the will of Elohim. So I have spoken everything before Devika or anybody else could ever predict or ever, ever predict anything or ever prophesy anything on the earth. Yeah, I have, I, I have it all in a package and I will uh, have it read out for you after the song. Let all those that are filthy, let it remain filthy still. All right, then we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna bring it up for you there. All right. Floods and thunderstorms will be seen in parts of the world which have never experienced them up to now I will not hold back anymore I will pour my wrath down. In the countries, which pass wicked laws against the Most High Elohim, earthquakes will rattle their lands there will be strange signs in the atmosphere and for those who know me and whom walks in spirit and in truth, they will know why these events are about to take place effectively. Alright, so as you could hear, the, what, the, what the narrator was reading out there for you, all right um see if i could just get on a little wider scale there for you all as i so that's having a little problem here but we'll get it sorted out for you there all right so as you can see the rainbow there the rainbow is very very bright all right uh just just think about the presence of elohim or the just think about the new Yerushalayim. if you see the rainbow still looking so bright just imagine uh how the new Yerushalayim really is you know Okay, let me see if I could just go back up. Alright, so I'm going to get read out there for you all. Prophecy received from Elohim the Holy of Hollies, the Triune Eternal Family given to the Divine Messenger Archangel Marvin T. Richards Cheyenne Yee. July 4, 7380, the actual year since creation 2018. All right, um, this prophecy will answer all questions in connection to everything that is happening upon the earth in this final hour copy and paste as IT is do not add or take away from these divine words spoken in prophecy. Share this on social media this is the answers that you seek the sign that you ask for written in Revelation 12 Amen. Amos CHP 3 colon 3, 6 to 8, 10. 13-15 Can two walk together, except they be agreed? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely Elohim will do nothing, but revealeth their secrets unto the servants the messengers assigned by Elohim. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord Yahushua hath spoken, who can but prophesy. For they know not to do right, says the Lord Hamashiach of humanity, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Hear yet, and testify in the house of Jacob, says the Lord Yahushua, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Yisrael upon him I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off, and fall to the ground. And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end, says the Lord. 
The hour is drawing near not many are aware of this event unfolding right before their eyes while the shadow governments put things in place to distract and comfort humanity in sin. Elohim have been revealing what is to unfold in these end times through my faithful divine messenger Marvin Thurian Richards Archangel Samuel of mine that many do not appreciate the sacrifices he went through he brought forth to deliver Elohim's words from the throne room. The people has turned their hearts and ears away from the ancient truth and has turned to believe the lies from the enemies from the mouth of the workers of iniquity. The kingdoms of darkness that dwells on earth in realms unknown to humanity are against our trumpet of truth Archangel Shiany the fifth angel of the end time apocalypse the sealed words that were given to Daniel the prophet of old has been released unto Archangel Shiany only. Revelation 1 colon 1 3 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. 2 and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. 3 and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. 4 but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. 5 Thene Daniel looked, and, behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. 6 And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? 7 And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever that it shall be for a time, times, and an half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. 8 and I heard, but I understood not, then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? 9 and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Ten many shall be purified, and made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. 1 1 and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. 12 Blessed is those that wait, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. 13 But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Anyone else who are claiming to know this truth are frauds and impostors of the enemy the devil himself seeking attention to distract the people from the ancient truth that were given to Daniel as it were words sealed up only the one chosen in this end times can open it because he is worthy to reveal it. Which was only given to our Marvin Thurian Richards no one else to teach the earth in righteousness to unlock the hidden truths that your enemies kept from you the truth of the foundation of Elohim's eternal covenant of everlasting righteousness the tree of life and the fruits of judgment. The covenant of the universal creator's Elohim see what the enemies has done to his different Facebook pages. He is the only one that speaks the undiluted words of your Elohim on earth the only one that can answer your questions on our pole reversal magnetic shift of the great unfolding judgment. So many however, are still not prepared my arrival is unfolding in this final hour of an eye. It will be a glorious event indeed and men, women and children will drop down on their knees in joy with love in their hearts, for me their divine Lord and Savior Yahushua the King of Glory when that day births forth.
My precious beloved children who knows the truth that were taught to them in righteous by our divine messenger Marvin Prophetic Richards, must tell the others how fortunate they are to be given this wonderful divine gift of life to be alive in the land of the living. My divine love will strike the earth in a manner where all mankind will drop down in humility and on bended knees weeping with sorrow for the grievance they have caused to offend my eternal father Yahuwah El Elyon and my everlasting mother Imaya Wisdom Ruach Hakadasha. as it is written every knees will bow and every tongue will confess I am the Lord thy faithful gift of salvation. It is through the Most High slash El Elyon Yahuwah that this great act of mercy is now presented to you not for long for very soon they will have to give an account of their foolish actions against me. Rejoice for the Messiah is here. I have returned to give you eternal life the proof of my existence and that of my everlasting father Yahuwah El Elyon and my everlasting mother Wisdom Imaya will be revealed in all heavenly glory to every man, woman, and child my presence will be revealed in a way that no one will nor can ignore for the heavens will open, the stars will collide so that my return to save you will be felt in every corner of the world at the same time. There will be powerful earthquakes that will trigger off Yellowstone avalanches and abnormal weather conditions in all parts of the earth in South Africa Nigeria, Africa Botswana Russia China, Italy, Ohio, California Arizona, America, Sweden, Canada, France the Caribbean Islands just to mention a few very soon expect the unexpected and it will take place one after the other like a domino supernatural effect as the sea vomits out its dead as the waves roars to and fro I will show my mighty hand in power from the heavens as a gift to those who love me as a special sign of my presence yes and the mountains will shake in fear at my holy presence. Joel 2 30 32 And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of the Creator's come. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the eternal name of the Lord Yahushua shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in the new Yerushalayim shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom Elohim shall call. Weather extremes and sudden changes in temperatures from cold to very hot will be seen and experienced as the earth goes through a pole reversal, polar reversal shifting of events, there will be disasters everywhere the hearts of mankind will pant in fear as the twenty-three days of darkness unfolds. Joel 2 colon 1 dash 2 blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound the oh, let's give them some the time. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it even to the years of many generations. The seasons will no longer be seen in the way in which they were in the past. The weather conditions will be unpredictable that not the technologies of mankind cannot tell in the days to come for everything is under my control for when it should be raining I will tell the sun shine and when it is snowing I will tell the winds blow stronger when it is dawn I will tell the moon shine storms will take unprepared nations unexpectedly it will be a day any time now that I will snatched my Elected chosen ones out of the hands of the wicked and gather them from the four corners of the earth east west north and south supernaturally yea they will be transformed into a beacon of light, spiritual transformation to be caught up. Floods and thunderstorms will be seen in parts of the world which have never experienced them up to now I will not hold back any more I will pour my wrath down. In the countries which pass wicked laws against the Most High Elohim, earthquakes will rattle their lands there will be strange signs in the atmosphere and for those who know me and whom walks in spirit and in truth, they will know why these events are about to take place effectively. Prophecy received from Elohim the Holy of Hollies the Triune Eternal Family given to the Divine Messenger Archangel Marvin T. Richards Shiany, 
July 4, 7380 The actual year since creation 2018 This prophecy will answer all questions in connection to everything that is happening upon the earth in this final hour copy and paste as it is do not add or take away from these divine words spoken in prophecy. Share this on social media this is the answers that you seek the sign that you ask for written in Revelation 12 Amen. Amos CHP 3 colon 3, 6 to 8, 10, 13 dash 15 can two walk together, except they be agreed? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Surely Elohim will do nothing, but revealeth their secrets unto the servants the messengers assigned by Elohim. The lion hath roared, who will not fear. The Lord Yahushua hath spoken, who can but prophesy. For they know not to do right, says the Lord Hamashiach of humanity, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Location 22 kilometers south Here southeast yet, of Helena, Oklahoma, and testify in the minor, house of Jacob, says the Lord Yahushua, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Yisrael upon him I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off, and fall to the ground. And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have an end says the Lord. The hour is drawing nearer not many are aware of this event unfolding right before their eyes while the shadow governments put things in place to distract and comfort humanity in sin. Elohim have been revealing what is to unfold in these end times through my faithful divine messenger Marvin Thurian Richards Archangel Samuel of mine that many do not appreciate the sacrifices he went through he brought forth to deliver Elohim's words from the throne room. The people has turned their hearts and ears away from the ancient truth and has turned to believe the lies from the enemies from the mouth of the workers of iniquity. The kingdoms of darkness that dwells on earth in realms unknown to humanity are against our trumpet of truth Archangel Shiany the fifth angel of the end time apocalypse the sealed words that were given to Daniel the prophet of old has been released unto Archangel Shiany only. Revelation 1 colon 1 dash 3 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. 2 and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. 3 and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. 4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. 5 Thei Daniel looked, and, behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. 6 And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? 7 and I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time, times, and an half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. 8 and I heard, but I understood not, then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? 9 and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. 10 many shall be purified, and made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. 1 1 and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, 
and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Twelve blessed is those that wait, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Thirteen but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Anyone else who are claiming to know this truth are frauds and impostors of the enemy the devil himself seeking attention to distract the people from the ancient truth that were given to Daniel as it were words sealed up only the one chosen in this end times can open it because he is worthy to reveal it. Which was only given to our Marvin Thurian Richards no one else to teach the earth in righteousness to unlock the hidden truths that your enemies kept from you the truth of the foundation of Elohim's eternal covenant of everlasting righteousness the tree of life and the fruits of judgment. The covenant of the universal creator's Elohim see what the enemies has done to his different Facebook pages. He is the only one that speaks the undiluted words of your Elohim on earth the only one that can answer your questions on our pole reversal magnetic shift of the great unfolding judgment. So many however, are still not prepared my arrival is unfolding in this final hour of an eye. It will be a glorious event indeed and men, women and children will drop down on their knees in joy with love in their hearts, for me their divine Lord and Savior Yahushua the King of Glory when that day births forth. My precious beloved children who knows the truth that were taught to them in righteous by our divine messenger Marvin Prophetic Richards, must tell the others how fortunate they are to be given this wonderful divine gift of life to be alive in the land of the living. My divine love will strike the earth in a manner where all mankind will drop down in humility and on bended knees weeping with sorrow for the grievance they have caused to offend my eternal father Yahuwah El Elyon and my everlasting mother Imaya Wisdom Ruach Hakadasha as it is written every knees will bow and every tongue will confess I am the Lord thy faithful gift of salvation. It is through the Most High Slash El Elyon Yahuwah that this great act of mercy is now presented to you not for long for very soon they will have to give an account of their foolish actions against me. Rejoice for the Messiah is here. I have returned to give you eternal life the proof of my existence and that of my everlasting Father Yahuwah El Elyon and my everlasting Mother Wisdom Imaya will be revealed in all heavenly glory to every man, woman, and child my presence will be revealed in a way that no one will nor can ignore for the heavens will open, the stars will collide so that my return to save you will be felt in every corner of the world at the same time. There will be powerful earthquakes that will trigger off Yellowstone avalanches and abnormal weather conditions in all parts of the earth in South Africa Nigeria, Africa Botswana Russia China, Italy, Ohio, California Arizona, America, Sweden, Canada, France the Caribbean islands just to mention a few very soon expect the unexpected and it will take place one after the other like a domino supernatural effect as the sea vomits out its dead as the waves roars to and fro I will show my mighty hand in power from the heavens as a gift to those who love me as a special sign of my presence yes and the mountains will shake in fear at my holy presence. Joel 2 30 32 And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and the terrible day of the Creator's come. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the eternal name of the Lord Yahushua shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in the new Yerushalayim shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said in the remnant whom Elohim shall call. Weather extremes and sudden changes in temperatures from cold to very hot will be seen and experienced as the earth goes through a pole reversal, polar reversal shifting of events, there will be disasters everywhere the hearts of mankind will pant in fear as the 23 days of darkness unfolds. Joel 2 1 2 Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, 
as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. The seasons will no longer be seen in the way in which they were in the past the weather conditions will be unpredictable that not the technologies of mankind cannot tell in the days to come for everything is under my control for when it should be raining I will tell the sun shine and when it is snowing I will tell the winds blow stronger when it is dawn I will tell the moon shine storms will take unprepared nations unexpectedly it will be a day any time now that I will snatch my Elected chosen ones out of the hands of the wicked and gather them from the four corners of the earth east west north and south supernaturally yeah they will be transformed into a beacon of light, spiritual transformation to be caught up. Floods and thunderstorms will be seen in parts of the world, which have never experienced them up to now I will not hold back anymore I will pour my wrath down. In the countries which pass wicked laws against the Most High Elohim, earthquakes will rattle their lands there will be strange signs in the atmosphere and for those who know me and whom walks in spirit and in truth, they will know why these events are about to take place effectively. Alright, so uh, now you all know exactly that I prophesied everything. I predicted every single thing that going on going on right now uh, on the earth. So when people like Devi can them talking about she predicting something or she she talking about earthquakes, she talking about uh, going to have earthquakes. I already predict uh, everything that is going to happen for the future already. This is already happening, and as I speak it, it's already unfolding already. So this is uh this is ongoing right now. All right, this is ongoing. So this already uh this is ongoing as of right now. Uh, and this was in July the fourth, twenty eighteen. So that means that I predicted the earthquake from last year that happened in Trinidad. I predicted the earthquake that happened in Ecuador. I predicted the earthquake that happened in uh, Peru. I predicted the earthquakes happening in um, Indonesia. I predicted, I prophesied about the tsunamis. I, 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 I did every single thing. The, 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 uh, the storms, the cyclones, the, uh, j just name it. The storms, the cyclones, the wagon. I prophesied everything actually I, I prophesied everything everything that happened on the earth is I prophesied everything I predicted everything because everything here this is the plan of Elohim alright so this is where Devika stole everything this is where Devika stole it uh, what she doing is just taking out part by part she take out this part she, she put in this part she keep changing around the words continually but it's the same thing that she's saying over and over from what she steal from my prophecies all right so the earthquake the landslides uh earthquake landslides mountain mountain melting like wax all that was predicted all that was prophesied the saturation uh how trinidad was split how indonesia was split how the patterns of the earthquakes will be every single thing that uh before it ever happened before it ever started archangel samuel uh put it into play all right so archangel samuel is the one who uh predicted and prophesied every single thing that you see going on on the earth so everything that you see going on on the earth is archangel samuel who already uh prophesied and predicted everything already all right everything was From where to met my hand, my head from it from Jah, who was made shining in the earth. Oh, that's true, my strength. Mighty Jah, Jah, keep my strength. To carry on, keep my strength. Mighty Jah, Jah, keep my strength. And oh, harder. Lots 
Angel Samuel that predicted and prophesied everything that's going on on the earth. So all those who claim to have via visions, via visions, they are frauds. And you are deceived into believing in their lies. Alright, so the next 24 hours, that is when they're going to execute their plans. Just get ready. video here where I already pre-prophesied all the earthquakes that happen on the earth right I'm gonna play a video from 2017 where I said that these events are going to happen from 2017 up to 2019 and I already brought out a brand new prophecy already there's a new release of prophecy for the rest of 2019 I already bring out prophecies already that's what I mean and people stealing it and people not given credit where credit you know where credit is due so I'm gonna play that video all right so get ready for your mind to be blown all right so get ready for your mind to be blown by this prophecy Ah. Uh. Remember these drawings? It all came to pass. Look at these drawings. Remember these drawings when I draw and show you all the vein and the plates all connected to Yellowstone? Well, guess what? It all connected to Yellowstone. Everything that I've taught you all is the truth. Remember, I, I spoke about Mexico. Where is it? I spoke about when the rapture will happen. The rapture will happen when Yellowstone almost ready to blow. Remember these drawings? All they kind of disorganized. I show you all exactly what will happen on the solar eclipse. I explain everything to you all. What happened to the solar eclipse? That Yellowstone is a female Yellowstone. That's the reason why NASA wants to go and daffy with she. Because they know she will birth. And I show you all about the fault lines wobbling here. And I show you all the mountain and the land is being pulled in the sea. Although it may seem to you that it's not being pulled in the sea, it is being pulled in the sea. I also show you all the Atlantic Ocean and the magnitudes of earthquake that is happening. You see 6.1, 7.1. Look at here. Look at right here, and this was drawn somewhat. This was drawn 
some weeks ago I show you all what will happen in Mexico on how it will affect the world I show you all that an earthquake 6.1 will hit Mexico I show you all a 7.1 will hit Mexico I show you all a 5.1 will hit California I show you all a 5.1 will hit California I show you all a 6.3 will hit the Netherlands I show you all a 10.1 or a 10.1 a 8.1 magnitude will hit Mexico I show you all a 6.5 will hit uh what will hit a uh, brazil this is the drawing here i show you all here recently the hala 8.1 not so Mexico had a 8.1 but nothing never happened Mexico had a 8.1 earthquake and what happened was a split it have a split now there was a recently there was a 7.1 that caused devastation because they didn't accept my warning because they didn't accept my warnings this is what happened to them a 7.1 earthquake hit them there was other drawings too let me see if i could find it before i start drawing a body storm i promise that i'll show you all about the storm i know for all those who think i brainwash thing I brainwash and you know I must be controlled or something like that like them well flat earth the earth is flat I teach about the dome I teach where the moon in position where the sun is position and I teach where the stars are I teach all that what is this Just an illustration that I'm looking for the other drawing. And I draw maybe it's on this, maybe it's on this. I even show you all this. Abba staff causes it quick. See what heaven is? look where the seventh wave will happen i show you all very hard a 7.8 magnitude 10.1 i show you all a mild earthquake i show you all a 4.4.15 .4 where it's going to happen and how it's going to happen everything that i've shown you all here is the illustration it is truth and this is how it's happening right now this is how the earthquake is happening around the world this is how it's happening the earth is flat the earth is not a globe rubbish we see a part i see a put here rubbish the earth is not a globe we don't live in a globe we live in a flat earth where you could get east or west 
where you can get a south and where you can get a north because when you get four poles on a flat earth you cannot get four poles on a globe it is impossible to get four poles on a globe i'm gonna show you something that is the globe that is the model of the stupid earth where you getting a salt pole here where where you getting a salt pole there that's a north pole that way you get any poles nah this is rubbish nasa teacher shit this is rubbish you can't get a south pole or north pole on a frigging globe on this model on this flat earth model the earth is flat on this flat earth model you could get a east a west a south north because there is a point there is a point here to signify it there's a point here to signify there is a point down here and there is a point down here there is a point down there see if that any uh, i did draw something else let me see if i find it So much of drawings I did. Right. This is where you need to understand. This is about the crop circles that you it, remember recently you were seeing crop circles. You was only hearing about crop circles. You realizing here nothing about crop circles anymore. You realize you're not even seeing a crop circle anymore. Because why? the warnings over watch about to happen earthquakes everywhere since since i spoken this it happened and look where mexico is i didn't draw this i didn't um just writing this eh? i think it's this one i don't find the other illustration this is about the crop circles and who makes the crop circles my drawing kind of out out a thing but i can't i i know a best draw this is an orphan you see how the wings is this is an orphan this is called easy wheel right oh for him this is an offer him which call the easy care wheels i have i have a, a, a teaching on the easy care wheel on my page so you could go on my page and you can learn about the easy care wheel on my page i have a whole i have a whole uh, post explaining about the or the offer them the offer them is the Ezekiel wheel they are the chariots they are the living chariots of Elohim and I also show here the pole shift and all seven shelves must be shifted you hear what I say this will happen when the seventh trumpet is sung, you see, when the seventh trumpet is sung, by this angel here, Gabriel, the pole reversal shift will happen. When all the seven shelves must be shifted. I teach about the seven shelves already a little earlier on in the life. I just going over before I draw what I need to draw for you. It's all for yims. It's all for me. It's for yims. 
like him, like New Year we shall like him, let's offer him. So we are Yahushua here. We have Imaya who is the mother. Earth, uh, this is your thrones there. This is Yahweh. This is Yahuwah throne. Yahushua is always on the right hand of us. Imaya is next to Yahu, his husband and wife. That's why he specifically speaking Imaya, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. If you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, there is no forgiveness. It, right? There is three witnesses, not two witnesses. And together is Elohim. So Elohim is the triune eternal family. The triune means the trine eternal family. The family that the world reject. Let me find the other one of Mexico. I did I did a other drawing. I did a other drawing uh with Mexico before I show you all the storm. The one I did for the storm, I did one. It's about to find it. I think it's supposed to be something just. looking for it here I did one right look with your own eyes spiritual eyes that is right you see where Mexico is Watch. Mexico fault line connects to the main core of Yellowstone. All right? Mexico, the earthquake that happened in Mexico was a 7.1. And I think it was a 8.2 before the 7.1. So before the 7.1 earthquake happened, Mexico earthquake affects Yellowstone badly. This is Antarctica here. This is where the Jesuit, where the uh, where the elite bunker is. The elite bunker is in Antarctica. This is where the elite bunkers is in Antarctica. You realize I put Japan here? Japan had a, a earthquake too. Japan also had a, a, a recent hurricane too. You see where Nigeria is? All these places I pit, all these places that I uh, explained to you all had a disaster recently. The Caribbean outstanding. If you realize, I didn't put the Caribbean because the Caribbean outstanding. Trinidad is connected to Yellowstone. London, UK, Italy, uh, England, America, they are all connected to Yellowstone because Yellowstone is a major nuclear time bomb. If you see here, you see Africa. You see Africa, Africa is connected to Yellowstone. All places on this flat earth is connected to Yellowstone. India is connected to Yellowstone. You see all places is connected to Yellowstone. You see where the USA is? 
What they call the fourth line is actually a vein. So what they call the fourth line is a vein. You know, everybody should be listening to this. We should have at least a lot of people listening to this life right about now. But maybe they're just waiting to maybe they, maybe they, maybe they're just waiting to you know maybe they, maybe they're just waiting for more information. So go back on the YouTube channel and brag, brag about what ya ya somina. I'm going to draw. I am going to draw today. What happens to the ocean? <laughs> All right. I I just join it in my own way again and I'll just put this as Brazil and uh, all the waters is connected together except the separation with the, with the two different waters in the in the Atlantic Ocean that doesn't meet together right but all ocean connected together for a reason right already water may be different colors it doesn't mean to say they're not connected all of them all of the, the oceans connected together that's right like a body so See if I could see that. So, this is Brazil. This is the ocean here. Right? This is Brazil. This is the ocean here. And uh, let me say, this is the storm. In the storm, there's an eye. There's a what I call an eye wall. This is storm here. This is what they do. This is what Abadem does. Let me put. Uh, I'll put a funnel cloud. So they use a funnel and the funnel touch down, come down like this. Come down to the ocean, spreads out like this and takes up how much gallons of water they want. This is Maria. I I call in this storm Maria. I call in it Maria. This is Maria here. This is a dangerous category. There's a category. Let me see, there's a category three. There's a category three from the outside. They need as much water to jump on the land. This is the land here. 
That is, you see, this is the land here. Yeah. See, let me destroy it. I understand. Um, this is the land. So there's the land. Right? There's the sea, there's the land. I want a little understand what I'm drawing here. This is Hurricane Maria. She need as much water. She need as much water to moist here. Here, this eye wall here, here need to be moist. So what they do is, from the hurricane itself, a funny cloud is being sent down. Ah, uh, uh, no, a funny cloud. You know what I want to see, right? It's been it's sent down into the California, ocean. Minor, it's been sent down in the ocean, and it takes up water. Location: Central California, minor, magnitude, 2 .1, It takes Location, up water, class, minus, and the water is being sucked up ago. all through here. And when it reaches here, there's a process that takes place. Let me just draw it out. Right, when I reach here, water spout, water spout, there's a water spout, right, there's a water spout, it takes the water from the ocean, stores it up, and I'll tell you all it go through a process, so this is the water from the sea, and the water's been sucked up, when it reach here, there's a process that takes place, what happens here is it liquefies. So the water, when, when the water from the sea is being sucked up here, it liquefies here, and then it goes in the core of the hurricane. Right, the water is being sucked into here, and then it goes all around here, and then it goes all around here. Is a category three, right? Is a category three there right now. In order to get a category four, they need to send on a next funnel to the funnel well. The funnel will, will work together. So once they send on the next funnel, let me say they send on the next funnel. The funnel, the funnel is connected according to where it is. So they send on the next funnel and the funnel is connected. You have more water here now. You have more water. You have more water here right now. Right? So you have more water here to help the storm, to help the hurricane go on. What happens now when the hurricane come in? Let me see the hurricane go into... Let me see, say it going to... Location 19 kilometers south south Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands. I hope you understand So this is Virgin Island land. The hurricane is coming towards the Virgin Islands. This is what happened. Happens. When the hurricane nearly come, nearly reach, there's a release, there's a valve, 
Location 180 km southeast of Madras, Alaska. Now, Mars, there is minor, a valve that has been released here. Location, so, wherever California, they want to pour minor, the water down, minutes ago. the valve Location, is being released. Let me show you the valve is. Minutes ago. There is a valve here. In the eye, there's a valve. There, there's a lock and valve. You ever see a lock and valve? Let me see if I could draw it. All right. It goes like this. And then I think it, 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 it goes back to form like this way. And then it draws like this, I think. Right. Daisy lock. Daisy valve. Hello, watch it good. Oh, poor Hurricane Ma Maria. <laughs> Uh, right. So this is Hurricane Maria, for, you know, for those who are not joining us and don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about, discussing about Hurricane Maria and when she meet, when she meet Jose, what will happen, right? And let's explain in the, the simple tips that Abba taught me. Abba taught me to teach you all today. So this is Hurricane Maria here. And this will be the... Uh, right? I call it the funnel, but you call it a different name. I just can't remember right now, right? This is a lock. This is a lock. This is a lock valve. This valve is locked in the eye wall of the storm. So there is water in a liquid in a liquid form here. When it nearly reached the island, when it, it projected part is this is the projected part. The valve here is being released, and when moisture or when air gets in the lock valve, the water becomes like the water becomes like normal water it becomes like normal sea water in there right and what they do is they release the valve and when they release the valve according to the eye of the hurricane and the wind and the wind speed of the hurricane the water is being dispersed like shoot like let me show you all it the water is being shoot out like this all over the country the water is being released like this that's how the water is being released from maria or from irma or from harvey is the same process that takes place so what happening in brazil ocean now That's right. When the when the water in Brazil gone, this side of the water gone. There is no ocean here because all the water has been sucked up here and kept in the core of the hurricane. So once the water has been kept in the core of the hurricane whenever they choose to release it again they will lock um they will actually release the valve when i say they i mean elohim the almighty god because they are the ones that created the storm the hurricane they are the ones that control the hurricane harp have nothing to do with this harp cannot do this okay Get us in your thick skull. 
Ahab cannot do this. This is Almighty God. Right? This is Almighty God. This is His doing. This is Elohim's work. They are the Almighty God and they are the ones that are doing this. So the water that is missing from Brazil, it is in Maria. And what Maria is going to do, Maria is going to feed Jose. Maria is going to feed Jose some of her water. And together, a water spout is going to come down in New York and suck up all the water that they can suck up. All the water that they can suck up. And why is that happening? There will be a earthquake. I don't have room to draw all that now because I cannot draw it, cannot strip it, but anyhow. I just, I just want to show you all. I just telling you all what happens. This is what happened. You ever see our water hose the spray out? You ever see our water hose the spray out? But I the same thing that's happened. Same thing that's happened with with a hurricane. The water spouts to be. So when the water spouts come down, the water spouts collect the water, the amount of water to. Uh, to transport the storm, they need the water spout. So when the water spout is being sent down here, uh, which I call a funnel, it sucks up how much water it needs to empower the hurricane. So when the winds that rotate in here, this is the winds that rotate in. Alright, uh, I want to tell you, uh, Imaya is the almighty wind. This is the wind that is rotating with the hurricane. And this is the lock valve. There is a valve that locks in. My bad told you all when the water is being taken up in a water spout, it is being processed. Before it goes into the core, it is processed. Why I think the re why I think the reason why birds just go why do think birds just go in the eye of the hurricane and and stay? I want th this is a question I want to ask you all. Why you think that birds or but why you think birds just go in the eye of the hurricane when there's a hurricane? I want you all to answer me this. Why it is why it is that birds does go in the eye of the hurricane this is here this is lock and this is lock valve eh? this is actually this is actually the safest part in the hurricane although it is the eye it is a deadly part it could be deadly according to where it hit right according to where it hit but once this valve is unlocked the amount of water being stored up or taken from here, the ocean, it will be dispersed all over the land. And it will be dispersed not in not in five five liter um not, not, not in five gallon, it will be dispersed in thousands of gallons. You, you didn't see what happened to Harvey. The amount of water they take from the Atlantic Ocean was more than this. In order to flood out, in order to flood out Texas, Abraham had was to take out, take about, they, they may take about a million gallons of water from the Atlantic Ocean. Store it up in the core of Harvey. I call it Maria, but it's Harvey here. Call it, um, store it up in Harvey. Harvey was a category 3 according to the wind speed. When the wind started to take up, when the Maya started to move within the hurricane and she locked the water inside of this valve, she carried the hurricane direct to Texas and then she released the valve and then she flooded out everywhere she used the wind to disperse the water like 
you know she used the wind to disperse the water and the water is falling in thousands of gallons and it's and it's flooding quickly it's in flooding one hour I go take the flood it flooding in by it flooding by the minutes so every three minutes every three minute water rises because the amount of water is in this <clears throat> in this system the amount of water is in this system right now when they're ready to release it she released the valve this is a valve most youtubers don't know anything my teaching here and scientists can even explain this to you all nobody on the earth could explain this but me scientists can explain they can even explain it for you all because they don't know one shit they don't know nothing right this is hurricane maria hurricane harvey i'm just teaching you all about what happens this is the virgin islands and this is what happened water from the hurricane maria flooded out and the wind speed the speed of the hurricane rotating remember it rotating and once it rotated and taken up a certain amount of air or moisture within it when it reaches the location that it wants to dump water or where the where it's going to where the eye is going to pass that is when the valve is being released so if the eye is passing over the virgin islands the uh, the valve will be unlocked and all this water here stored up all the water stored up here will be dispersed in thousands of gallons and the wind that that they are having here the wind it will pull the wind from the east it will pull the wind from the west it will pull the wind from the north it will pull the wind from the south and this is what you will have you will have like a turbine you ever hear about a turbine before you ever heard about a turbine this is a turbine this is how the storm really looks this is a turbine this turbine is what generates the water and the wind in the hurricane itself <coughs> hurricane maria hurricane harvey <coughs> let's take a, a look at what you're seeing here right now nobody any earth could explain this the way scientists baffled they they doing the they, they can't say but this is what happening that way the water gone when maria meets jose when maria meets jose and they merge together all the water they take from brazil the water they take from uh, Bahamas, the water they take from Florida, they're going to take the water again and they're going to use it for both hurricanes. Both hurricanes, the water is going to when when two of them merge together, we're talking about two turbine, we're talking about two eyes, and we're talking about talking about 
two systems join together. I'll show you all here. The two systems join together and taking up when the um when this cloud when this funnel cloud when this funnel comes down water spout when this water spout comes down here takes up the water it's it go through a process here and from that process it is dispersed through here and it becomes a liquid form right it becomes a liquid form well it become actually like isolated it becomes like isolated but it's just you'll just begin cool winds out of here in this core you'll just begin cool winds it could be very very cool right it could be very very cool when it reaches the destination that it's going which will be the virgin islands and the eye comes over virgin islands the water dispersed from here and comes on the land and start flooding out the land everywhere that it could go according to the magnitude of the earthquake according to the magnitude of the hurricane according to the magnitude of the hurricane is a category three it might go to a category five now when it goes to that category five dangerous but the only way you will get a category seven hurricane is if two hurricanes merge together if two hurricanes merge together you will get a category seven and that is dangerous that could cause a tsunami that could also cause a tsunami because the water could rise quickly so in order they could either abadam could either use a hurricane to do the tsunami or they could use a earthquake to do the tsunami and what it could do is use the ocean as a use the ocean as a bed like this is already pen straight and they create an earthquake right here and then they could use the plate rise the plates to a certain order to a certain order and when the plate is being raised to a certain order then flush the water into the in, uh, onto the land they could do that or they could use a hurricane they could use a hurricane to cause a tsunami a hurricane could cause a tsunami but it's according to the magnitude of the wind and of the the, the amount of water that the water spout taking this is like if you want to destroy the land you use a hurricane if you want if you just want to destroy a small small country use a hurricane you know what i mean use a hurricane look i'm not teaching this i am not teaching this to people to go back and say go back and say they learn this eh? i'm teaching this so at least yahuwah could get credit imaya could get credit yahushua could get credit and i could get credit I am teaching this so that you can know exactly that NASA don't know one shit. That you were a man in no one shit. So the water that receives in Brazil goes towards the storm. Goes towards the hurricane. So the water that missing in Brazil, that God in Brazil, for the clouds came down without you knowing and took the water transported the water the water was transported by by a, 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 a funnel cloud by a water spout the the water 
from Brazil was transported by by a funnel by a water spout I say in funnel cloud by a funnel cloud or by a water spout or by a, fu a funnel spout the water was transported by a funnel cloud and uh, it was transported by the wind yes it was transported by the wind when it comes closer to the hurricane there is something called a bridge there is a bridge a valve a little some a little something that happens in there supernatural something happens supernatural there where yahuwah they breaks down the water here and turn it into a liquid kind of gas form when it's being turned into a liquid kind of gas form it's being isolated within the eye of the storm and it is within the vault when they release the valve is a go when they release the valve the vault when they release the, the the valve which i call the vault when they release the vault this is what happens water dispersed like a hose you know like when you have a hose with some with tiny holes and well, this is what happened right this is what i call it again this is a turbine this is what generates the uh the eye this generates the eye this generates the system so rotate the input this is called a turbine so this is a turbine here that generates the wind speed to keep to keep the hurricane alive forget don't study them on this hot water shit they say the hurricane need to go in hot water and all sort of rubbish those say them and that shit please right wherever whenever yahoo choose he could yahoo could even do a hurricane in a winter season a hurricane could happen in a winter season too they could just use snow in the same eye and disperse it with winds they could use a hurricane and create a, 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 a catastrophic a catastrophic snowstorm they could use this waiting does cause a snowstorm is the same pattern the same pattern that i'm showing you all here is the same thing brothers and sisters what is geostorm okay I need you all to uh, to ask. Uh, I mean, I talk too much. I talk. I talk really intense. Really you see all the sun. All the sun within me. Right. Okay. So I explain to you all. I explain to you all about this. The water receding in Brazil. This is the reason why. Today, I'll put a date on this so I remember. Today is the... Today is the 23rd of Sep. I'll put 2017. Right? So this is the 23rd of September 2017. This is the illustration that nobody on the earth understands. You know, if I receive the credit, <laughs> nobody in the earth can understand this. Yes, Sister Brendan, right? <laughs> All right, take a snapshot of this. You can 
take a snapshot of this kitchen. Drawings kind of out, but see what eh? Ah, okay. So this is the drawing here of everything that I've explained to you all. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Hi Crystal, you have any question? Juanita, any questions? Any questions? Anyone have any questions? Yes, they're going to experience. That's right, they have no limit. Once it's being stored up here, it could go as long as possible. Once, that's the reason why Jose still exists. If you realize Jose is on the west coast of America right now. Jose is on the west coast waiting for Maria. Everybody think, everybody actually think that Jose waiting to pull Maria out to the sea, but that is a lie. Jose is not waiting to pull Maria out from the sea because America is going to be under a more greater judgment when these two storms merge. When these two storms merge, it's going to head straight into New York and who knows what could happen, right? They will, they will not be separating after that. We also, we have Lee. We have a storm called Lee. We have a hurricane called Lee. I think it's our category one. We have a hurricane called Lee and he just did. He just did. He ain't moving. But he moving according to the speed of Maria. So according to Maria's speed, we have Lee moving with Maria. Then we have another one called, I can't remember the new name in it, but there's a, there's a new hurricane. And it's a category one that the, meteor, the meteorologist's office, the, the media, they're not talking about the new hurricane that, that it have. It have a new hurricane and it's a category one already and it is not far from Brazil. All year, there's a hurricane not far from Brazil. That's right, Jose. Jose have a lot of water stored up in him. You see. 
What keeps the hurricane alive is the water. Water is life, right? Water is life. The water is the sea water that 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 they that they re, that they processing here is life. The water empowers the hurricane. The water. So when this water is liquid form, it empowers the eye. This is the eye wall here. This is where the strength of the hurricane really is. The strength of the hurricane is within the eye wall. But birds just go in the eye hall, the, 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 the eye to hide from the heavy wind. Because you remember the the dispersion is going is happening under the hurricane. So under the hurricane that's spinning, there are little there there are there are, there are big holes. Big holes like what I'm showing here. It's like a stretch, yeah. nice. Big holes. But big big holes. Big holes. This call a turbine. And it rotates in a clockwise position. This is how the hurricane goes. So this part going so. And this part going so. So it going in a clockwise position. While the turbine here. The turbine going in this direction. The turbine going in this direction. And the eye wall going in this direction. If you realize how I draw it, that's how it goes. They, they doesn't teach already the truth enough. This is the way how the hurricane rotates. This is the outside. This is the turbine. This is the eye wall of the hurricane. And what happens here is a rotation, a clockwise rotation so while this side going so this side going so so while this side going so this side going so so it, it always a clockwise position with hurricane the bird can stay in the hurricane as long as possible because in the eye of the hurricane and in the eye wall of the hurricane from above they could seek refuge in there because that is the eye wall we're talking about under the hurricane under the hurricane under this thing here let me just show you an example this bottle there's the hurricane right the hurricane spinning like this this is the the turbine this is the turbine of the hurricane spinning and within the turbine of the hurricane this is the eye wall so when the turbine spinning this way the I wall spinning so so you know what happening there right so it generating power it generating the use the, the, the using the wind the water to empower the earthquake according to the, the uh the using the resource using the resource from the earth which is water they could also use a tornado all tornadoes created in the same way all tornadoes just be the same way you see the, the difference between a tornado and a storm a 
tornado have no eye we know that right so the difference between a tornado and a storm a tornado have no eye whatsoever and the tornado have it own it, the tornado don't have the inside part here to call it a storm the tornado have this the tornado have what i call the turbine the tornado have the turbine outside here that generates that generates uh the 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 speed it might come along with so it gather all the winds up here in a tornado it gather all the winds up here and then the same valve the same valve that you see here that use it for the water spot this valves come down come down with the wind whatever they have in here wherever the stop in the time it is the same thing like the storm is just it's just different so wherever the stop here whether it's sun or wind wherever the stop here it comes down from the heaven comes down to the land like in a rotate spinning it's the same turbine that has been spinning and when the turbine is spinning here remember there is no eye there is no eye so there is no water being stored in here this is not a hurricane this is a tornado so when the tornado comes down it only it, it it only forming with this part because this part is the rotating part you don't need an eye because it's not a hurricane you this part is the rotating part and the winds in here will pick up any any other thing any anything that they choose and then when the valve is unlocked when this valve here remember i show you all there's a there's a valve when this valve is unlocked the pressure that is stored up in here is released and when the pressure is released it comes down spinning and it takes anything in its path that is how a tornado happens right so if we decide to remove remember without a turbine the storm cannot this hurricane cannot survive you study them and this shit i mean they teach you science which is bullshit right I don't teach you astrology and all them rubbish. I teach you this is the model that the creator, this is the model that the creator created it to be. This is how it is in real life. My drawing kind of messed up, but thank you all for watching my life. Please remember to share it because it is very important. And please remember to share it with my name, right? So that people, uh, that they can come back to this life and maybe they can learn something from it, you know? So I'm taking your questions now. What is the next question? You have a question about this? Anybody have any questions? If you have any questions, please state your question. That's right tornado is a dry storm and hurricane is a wet storm wow angela that is awesome that is awesome so now you understand and the tornado sometimes brings water with it sometimes bring water but there is no eye there is no eye in a tornado so what happens here i told you all 
the moisture from the air the whatever moisture is being kept in the turbine so the turbine here is rotating but there's no eye because it's not a hurricane this this is a tornado and this is the dry air here this is dry air right dry air which uh which stuffs up in here and when it, re when it when it is released it it release in a force and it release in a spinning force because the turbine still spinning it you know so the turbine spinning still and the air the, the it's just like a compressor right it does a, it this just like a compressor if you don't know what's a compressor you can research what's a compressor this is like 1000 psi this air is 1000 psi right now our droid is 1000 psi and you can go higher than that according to the wind speed so this is 1000 psi right if you want to call it 100 psi then it need to be drawn smaller this is 1000 psi right here now this psi the wind the moisture from the from the from the air is being gathered up in here sucked up in here sucked up in here and then when it builds a certain maximum or when it builds a certain average then it releases here when it releases here this part still spinning so what that means is since this part still spinning the wind that is inside of it the air that is inside of it becomes whatever it needs to be if it needs to be dust well then it will pick up dust from the earth and it will come inside of here and what happens it will empower it just like water it will empower it so what they're doing is they're using the resources that they created sun is also a resource Water is a resource. Fire is a resource. Right? If you know all the elements that created this earth, if you know the elements that created this earth, then you will understand how storms is formed. Then you will understand how hurricanes is formed. Then you will understand how tornadoes is formed. Then you will have an understanding how to do certain things i'm not saying anything more because i think that nasa going and take this i need to shut my mouth you know why because the last illustration that i did concerning yellowstone nasa took that illustration and in that illustration i showed you all how to how to get to the core of yellowstone and I even show you all, I show you all how it's possible to deactivate Yellowstone. But I didn't tell you all anything. But they understand it. The enemy that be watching my lives. We are 17 people on life. This is so important. This is really important. It, you know, something that's be kind of discouraging that you only have 18 people on life what i'm teaching you all money can't buy it what i'm teaching you all nobody in coming to teach you all this elijah ain't coming to teach you all this and i promise and i promise you all before i left before i leave to go home that i will show you all how a storm is formed boom and is it is it right here right illustration
right? So, this is the illustration here that you need to understand. Right? So, I'm taking questions now. Any questions? Any questions? Yes, the enemy is to them info. That is the reason why they wanted uh they wanna try to deactivate Yellowstone because they learn that from me. Today is Yahushua birthday, and Yahushua is ten thousand years old. I think on a live last year, I think I did announce that that Yahushua birthday is on September the twenty third. September the twenty third is Yahushua universal birthday. Yahushua is ten thousand years old now. Right, so Yahushua is ten thousand years old. Right? Before this birthday, Yahushua was 9,000 years old. Yahushua is 10,000 years old. Yahushua do not celebrate birthday. In heaven, nobody celebrates birthday. You say why did just the Nile turn blood red, but no other sun waters last week? Uh, Nathaniel, I don't understand what you're asking me. Well, the government wanted Nicola dead because he knew too much. So Nicola was assassinated too. They was assassinated. Just like the, just like the um the the the, just like the doctors and them were the killing out. Those doctors was assassinated, right? All the doctors that they killing out and they killing these doctors and you know they kill Sibo. He was a uh, um. He used to help in in, in um help cure cancer and all this kind of thing well the big farmer didn't like that and they kill him right they kill all these uh all these doctors that discover that cancer what causes cancer and how to stop cancer and how to heal cancer what you could do to get better all these all these doctors were assassinated if you realize recently one of the doctors was assassinated because he speak up against cancer anytime you speak up against the enemy they want to kill you they want to take you out but if you are not secure in elohim they will kill you if you are secure in elohim they can't touch you right they can't touch. that is the difference the difference is you being secured in Elohim and you not being so secure in Elohim. Because if you are not being secured in Elohim, you're in trouble. You're in real trouble. The enemy will torment you. If you are secure in Elohim, the angels of the Lord will encamp around those who fear Elohim. Those who fear Elohim in love those who respect the commandments those who live according to their commandments those who live righteous they are the children of the most high
Yahushua bride is in the spirit. James, don't talk that so hard now, nah, bro. Hey, James, you should send my friend request, bro. But James, don't talk that so hard. Don't let them know why join. Nicola tried to ask. Nicola tried to es explain this to them. They didn't want him to discover that. And they don't want the people to know the truth about this. This is the truth. And you can also use this also to, to generate electricity. You see, because this is a turbine. This is a turbine. This can generate electricity. Yes. This can generate electricity. Because this turbine is spinning. And this valve and this open and closed valve is always interlocking it with each other. Right? Touching one another and touching one another, the complements touching one another. That causing a a, a a search storm. We call a search storm. Right? They call it a search storm. Anytime electricity get inside of here, anytime electricity get inside of here, it will become a surge storm. It mean electricity storm. Right? A electricity storm. That's right. So this is Maria here, which is a category three right about now. She weakened. She weakened her category three to go to Jose. When she reached to Jose and they merged together, hmm, that will be an unprecedented destruction. That will be a destruction for New York City. Also, the volcano Yellowstone will be affected by this. You know why Yellowstone is being affected by 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 storm, hurricane, earthquake, or volcano. When a volcano come down, it 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 it, it touches the, the fault line. According to the magnitude of the, according to the magnitude of the turbine, that is happening right here. According to the turbine that is that is generating the electricity here, when the when the tornado comes down and touch the land, it touches the fault line. It don't necessarily touch the tectonic plate. The tectonic plate is a different scenario all by itself but when the volcanoes come down sorry not volcanoes when the tornado comes down the the, the force it comes down with it actually it it, it actually interferes with the fault line that running we need the, the surface of the earth so there are four lines running beneath the surface of the earth and when if a hurricane too if the eye is over if the eye is over a particular island and that island have a volcano that volcano become active right now there is a volcano in virgin islands but it will not be erupting now there is a volcano in there is a volcano in virgin islands but yeah they decided to destroy them in a different way virgin islands is destroyed puerto rico is destroyed and soon very soon america will be destroyed completely destroyed america will be underwater Wow, 
I didn't see what I draw here, but this looks awesome. This looks like a foot. I didn't see it before. What the heck? So that's a little illustration. Drawing what I am seeing in the spirit right now. A drawing from the spirit point of view. Shalom to you, Savan. Zilai Zile oh, look, look, look at that A multi turbine When Hurricane Jose and Maria meet together when the two turbines gather together, they real win. That will generate woo, winds and electricity. That will generate lightning bolts. That will generate devious lightning bolts. Because the electricity cannot be contained in here will be shoot out like 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 a like a fountain out of the storm or the hurricane right see all these points here that I, i'll show you all that is where the water does come out or the windows the windows be dispersed out from here electricity will also be coming out from here See these points? Electricity will be coming all from here. Now, I didn't see the foot before. I didn't see the foot before. It, it just appeared. I didn't draw the foot like this before, but it was drawn. This is what Yahuwah is showing me right about now. Maria meeting Jose could be a category seven. Real quick. When they merge together, if Abadan decide to keep these hurricanes going and use an earthquake, if they use a, a earthquake, if they use an earthquake, New York could be devastated. They do not want it like that. They want a tsunami. 
a tsunami 700 feet high so what they could do they could use a earthquake here yeah they could use a earthquake here let me say a 10.1 just to raise the plate use some of the water from the ocean and use some of the water from maria and jose together and disperse it on new york city and the water will be coming in faster because you have electricity here you have water here and water and electricity is two different conductors if you don't know water is a conductor of electricity if you put your foot i'm not telling you to do this please don't do this do not try this at home do not ever try this because you will get electrocuted okay for example if you take an electric wire or your, or your foot mysteriously uh or your hand wet and you touch a plug that 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 is electrified by electricity you will get shock if your hand wet yeah you, you, you will get shock right our bodies is also conductor of electricity if you don't know our body is just like conductors of electricity i just drawing what i just drawing what is in his spirit right now so you know at least people can share it you know i know it's a cool drawing but you know if we could get it on youtube if you could get us on youtube and the people could come back to my page and they can maybe can ask some questions you know get it on youtube and get it out there but let her come back and ask me questions you know what i mean nathaniel okay anybody have any questions any questions going to marry King Yahushua and his bride Abba Yahuwah and Mother Imaya Yahuwah is going to give up his mantle to Yahushua right Yahushua will have his own kingdom um, hi Shirley any newbies want to ask a question anybody who's new want to ask a question surely anybody who's new want to ask a question yes yes uh yes brother seven just like a fan it's just like a fan but just this part here rotating clockwise it's not rotating the way how the the way how this part of the way how this yes the question of where we come before america is underwater that's right yes crystal yes it will happen remember everything is in line with yellowstone everything is in line with yellowstone because yellowstone is the revelation 12 sign the revelation 12 sign is yellowstone right not no stupid constellations not no uh vogo going and vogo going and make the wrongs and some kind of shit like that like shit sis right 
Yellowstone is Revelation 12 prophecy. Once she blow, once she give birth, once she give birth, that is it. There is no need for California to exist and all them other places. That will be wiped off the map. And once Yellowstone, once Yellowstone explode, that is it. And I also explained about the sinkholes. Look, I have teach you all a lot, you know. I also explain about the sinkholes. Let me see if I can find that drawing. Excuse me. About the sinkholes. Is this a okay? The drawing about the sinkholes. I did that other drawing. About the sinkholes, right? This is a drawing of the plates the fault lines and everything right everything that i've talked about is six wave it happened so the sixth wave of glory already passed we're waiting for the seventh wave to pass through the earth right the seventh wave is the final trumpet. All right. Let's take a look. You see the MG that's marked me too there. Right, so I have these sinkholes here. Right? The seed mark sink, seed mark S, the S is for sinkhole. Right? So it's comfortable. This is a sinkhole. This is a sinkhole. Everything, everywhere you see SH is a sinkhole. There is a sinkhole, there is a sinkhole, there is a sinkhole. All sinkhole is connected to Re Re Revelation 12, which is Yellowstone. Right? Yellowstone is created for a purpose, was created for a purpose to bring America under judgment, complete judgment. This is where the scripture comes in that the day that is burning like an oven where all the wicked where all the wicked will be burnt up right you know you know you know that scripture right you know that you know that scripture do you know that scripture where it states that i think it's in daniel i think it's in daniel yeah where all the wicked all the wicked will be burnt up that day is coming burning like an oven burning like an oven yellowstone is the oven burning like an oven burning like an oven burning like an oven yellowstone is the oven ring a bell ring a bell to you revelation 12 is yellowstone not no Vogo shit all in going and see that shit going and happen. No Vogo shit ain't going to happen. Right? Because it is wrong and it is foolish and it is astrology. Astrology is witchcraft. Right? Yellowstone is Revelation 12 sign. That is what they're supposed to be looking forward for. Yellowstone. Yellowstone has a womb. 
And I explained about the SH. The SH is a sinkhole. The reason for the sinkholes and the magnitude and depth of the sinkholes is because when Yellowstone explodes, it need a drain out now. You know what I mean? When Yellowstone, when Yellowstone explodes, the sinkhole will serve the purpose of running in places that Yellowstone cannot reach. So all the places that have a sinkhole, the sinkhole is connected to Yellowstone somehow. Somehow the sinkhole is connected to Yellowstone because when Yellowstone explodes, lava will be flowing out of the sinkholes. Whether the sinkhole is in England, Trinidad, wherever the sinkhole is, that depth of the sinkhole is connected to Yellowstone. And the vein of Yellowstone runs from the sinkhole straight into Yellowstone. Do you ever understand? Right? So, we have an understanding there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, these are solar eclipse. Our next solar eclipse is a, will be happening very soon. There will be a next solar eclipse before 2024. The world ain't going to survive 2024. But I'm just telling you all that the solar eclipse, there will be a other solar eclipse to happen. To destroy the children, your children die. You see that man called Satan. He got some wicked intentions, and you know he is going down for his sins. And he wants us to go with him, but I know that. Do you know that? Mighty King Salasi, get him out. But I know that. 